the most common questions SaaS members ask us is, how long will my money last? The good news is, you don't need to stay in the dark. Our robust projection process can help you determine where you stand. And if you find that your projected savings are falling a bit short, it's never too late to turn things around. You'll have the information and insights you need to make informed decisions about your retirement. Let's take Sue for example. Sue is 61 and plans to retire at 63. She owns a $440,000 home and has $36,000 in the bank. Sue has an annual income of $80,000 and an estimated SAS benefit of $330,000 at retirement. She is currently contributing 5% to SAS and is below the 6% annual average she needs to maximise her benefit. Sue believes she needs an income of $40,000 a year to live comfortably in retirement. This figure will need adjusting each year to account for the rising cost of living. Let's say Sue retires at 63 and starts a pension with her SAS benefit. At age 84, Sue's pension and savings will run out and the Centrelink age pension will be her only income. So what can Sue do to improve her situation? Following recommendations from her State Plus financial planner, Sue delays her retirement until age 65. She also increases her SAS contribution to 9% and begins to salary sacrifice her contributions for the next four years. By doing this, Sue's take-home income reduces by around $2,000 per year. However, her final SAS benefit will increase to $383,000 and her savings will last seven more years. Now let's look at Charlie and Roche. Charlie and Roche are aged 60 and ready to retire. They have a current combined salary of $110,000 and a combined SAS benefit of $500,000. They own a home worth $600,000, have $10,000 in shares and $20,000 in the bank. They estimate they need a combined income of $56,000 a year to live comfortably in retirement. Our projections show Charlie and Roche that with this current plan, they will run out of their retirement savings at age 84, after which their only income will be the Centrelink age pension. Charlie and Roche still have options. Their State Plus planner suggests that they consider working three more years and reduce their retirement income needs to $52,000 per year. By delaying their retirement, Charlie and Roche increase their final benefit to $523,000 and their income lasts well beyond their life expectancy. Seeing how long your money will last can feel daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Whatever your current situation, with the right help, you can put in place smart strategies to improve your prospects in retirement. And remember, the sooner you get started, the better off you'll be.